question has two parts. The first part is to sketch a cube given eight coordinates for its vertices. The second part is to find the angle between two given diagonals. The first part of this question, sketching the cube, is very, very important. The first thing you'll want to do before you sketch your cube is choose your axes. Using the right hand rule, where my index finger represents the x-axis, my middle finger represents the y-axis, and thumb represents the z-axis, I've come up with this particular configuration. What I'd like you to do now is stop the video and practice drawing this cube yourself. Decide on the axes, plot the eight vertices, and draw the cube. How did you go? Compare your answer with my answer. I've looked ahead in the question and I've drawn the two diagonals, OF and AG. Because I looked ahead, I was able to structure or position the x-axis in such a way that the two diagonals, AG and OF, were easily visible on my diagram. Let's move on to the second part of the question. Let's find the angle between the diagonals represented by the vectors OF and AG. The first thing I'm going to do is draw arrowheads on my diagonals to create vectors. That's AG. This is OF. And I'm going to label the angle between them theta. How can I find the angle theta in this diagram? You'll recall from lectures that the dot product will help us answer this question. The dot product is an incredible measure for relating the lengths of vectors with the angle between them. It's an extraordinary result and I encourage you to go back after this video to your notes and to have a look at the proof, the development of the result for the dot product. What I'm going to do now is write down the vectors OF and AG and use the dot product to find the angle between them. The geometric vector OF, the vector starting at O and finishing at F, is simply given by the column 1, 1, 1. The geometric vector AG, the vector starting at A and finishing at G, is given by the difference between the head, G, and the tail, A. Subtracting components, I get the vector AG is negative 1, 1, 1. Let's write down now an expression that relates the lengths of the vectors OF and AG with the angle between them. The dot product of OF and AG is equal to the length of the vector OF times the length of the vector AG times the cosine of the angle between them. Substituting the vectors for OF and AG I have the dot product is equal to the length of OF and the length of a vector is simply the square root of the sum of the squares of its components. So here are the components, 1, 1 and 1. The length is the square root of the sum of the squares of 1, 1 and 1. Similarly for AG, How do I find this dot product? 
A useful way of thinking about the dot product is a sum product. I'm going to find the sum of the product of the components. 1 times negative 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 1 times 1. Next time you load up Microsoft Excel, you'll see that function sum product. The sum product of two arrays gives you the sum of the product of each of the cells in the array one at a time. It's doing exactly the same thing as this dot product is. This is root 3 times root 3 times cos theta. Well on the left hand side I have 1 and on the right hand side I have 3 cos theta. So I have an expression for cos theta. Cos theta is a third. What's the value of theta? Back to my diagram. The angle between two vectors is either acute or obtuse. Cos theta is a positive value, so that will give me an acute angle. Theta is inverse cos of a third, and if you use your calculator, you can find that the value of theta is in degrees, 70 degrees and 32 minutes. So there's a lot in this question. There's certainly more than you might have thought at first glance. Going through this question really encourages you to practice your sketching skills, in particular drawing axes and coordinates in three space. This question has shown you the relationship between the lengths of vectors and the angle between them via the dot product. And using that result, we found the angle between the two diagonals of this cube.